Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy in another round. Um, it is even in the next priority assignment, so let's hop into the briefing. Inquisitor, an unexpected incident occurred on the upper levels of the Habitat Spire when mercenaries inexplicably attacked a merchant guild. The armed militants are currently in the process of destroying the shrine of the Imperial Creed or at the Trade Hall. The incident was flagged as a moderate threat by mind-linked Ordo Skyas after the assailants appeared to be possessed by unsanctioned malevolence. Malevolent? Contain the situation and uncover the motives behind the incident. Uncover key motives behind the incident. The situation demands immediate countermeasures while your while you are deployed. While your deployment is in progress, choose a sacred right of engagement. Seal off the building to contain the situation. Use the ventilation system and release a tranquilizer agent into the area. Have the adapters arbiters move in with all haste and engage the attackers. I will go with the first one. Sounds the neatest at least to me. The violence was successfully contained inside the trade hall. The arbiters teams holding the perimeter are now considered collateral damage as we lost contact with them some time ago. Oh, okay. Well, anyhow, we are the Inquisition, we are allowed to do that. Missions preparations complete. Tactical sensorium and cognitive, su cognitive support is now operational. Field butcher chirurgery units are standing by to screw the area and process all available cadavers. Insertion to the incident site will be initiated on your mark. So I assume a purge, yes, okay, against Rebel Guard, nice. Planet is, of course, Basilica Arias. The crazed mercenaries massacred everyone in sight, and now they are wandering aimlessly at the incident site like freshly mind scrub flesh drones. They are not standing down and still post a clear threat. Execute, execute rites of terminal pacification. A hundred thousand worlds, ten hundred thousand wars. There is no respite. There is nowhere to hide. Across the galaxy, there is only war. Um, yeah. I know that. We know that. It is the Dark 40k universe, so what else than war should there be, right? And this is what I guess many people, um, I, I guess do enjoy about the 40k universe, the grim direction it actually went well not actually went but the how dark it actually is a if you compare it to our now well we are living in a dark world a little bit as well don't we but not as harsh and by now at least not as harsh the question is what will happen if the if mankind um actually unites and i'm not calling and i'm not saying um unites under a dictator not what i'm um, meaning i'm talking about more a federation style from star trek um, what would actually happen um, i mean if you i don't want to um, say anything wrong here but if you take a look at the world and how aggressive Mankind sometimes is how many wars there were and are, the world wars and everything. How I can only say that alien species, I think, would be the same, you know, and that the that I would assume that the wars we actually had here on on, on Earth, we probably will have in a galactic scale then as well. I don't know, I'm just guessing, but that is what I would see. And this is what would make me wonder um, if we, or that, if we would now live, I don't know, 500 years in the future, a thousand years in the future, when there would be starships and everything, and colonization of alien worlds, uh, well, not alien world, but you know, worlds, and then getting to know the first aliens if there were as many wars as there were. But well, this is, I guess, something I will never ever find out. Let's 
galaxy. Although I have to say, we're living in a future where um, you are on a starship. I don't know why I'm very, very attracted to that. Not to the wars or anything, but on living on a starship and traveling through space. Very, very neat. Or even traveling through space and time. I think might be quite funny as well. I know, I know, I've ever seen enemies there. Three or uh, two or three, but I am for now just a few of them since I will take down all the surrounding enemies, soften up these guys a little bit, and then we'll just. Oh, he quite per accident, but he killed his own guy. That is nice, and you theoretically could use that. Could use that against them. Well, quite neat, ain't it? Okay, inoculate a refill. One is still remaining, of course, of course, of course. We go to the left, and we cleared already half of the enemies out. Okay, that surprised me a tinsy little bit, I have to say. But not complaining here, not complaining at all. Okay, we are a little bit overheated. I shall do something against the heat. Okay, group is down. So it is a perch, usually. <laughs> um, I wonder what kind of big enemy, if there, if, let's say it like that, if there even is a big enemy at the end of this mission that is the thing which needs to be found out let me first of all let me take down this dude and then we will focus on the Ogryn or Valgrin or whatever kind of abnormal it actually is down here is maybe just maybe this was even the last room here yeah, that is possible okay credits picked up nice nothing to um, complain about that I will first of all of course go to the left and then go straight so to say to take the last couple of enemies down the one room it might be um, it is not a necessity, of course, it might be that there will be a bigger enemy right here, so with maybe the boss, um, I have, so to say, no clue. I definitely need to do something about our overheating, which I just did. The thing is, when you are, of course, offensively using your psychic powers, especially the ones costing a lot of heat, like the fiery form, the disintegration spell and everything and yes we have a demented cycle here and even a rebel sergeant okay now i may have made a little bit of a mistake in just going in there like a tart but the more enemies which are summoned the more enemies are clumping up which means the more damage you do with the fiery form and all the aoe spells right that is the one right there Okay, ah, okay, no, I want to say I took down the Demented Cycle there in close combat, but I actually did not, shame on me, but now the last couple of hits, both the Balgrin and the Demented Cycle will be done and through we are. Um, she might explode, so a little bit of um, security or social distance, so to say, is actually um, needed there. All right, then, to the left, I know I've ever seen a chest down there but I think it is not worth the time going down there since most times there's actually only crap dropped okay we will be a little bit smart and cool down very, very important before we actually go in there and hack all of them might be a good point so we deal damage to all of them okay not all of them but to 
two quad, uh, two third of them. That's quite neat. Uh, we did already a little bit of damage of there. Ah, okay. Sadly enough, the fire reform is over. One enemy remains. Once again, the enemies of the Imperium failed miserably. Yes, they did. Let me open up the chest. Um, this is just Roger Water Corner. Why not? Then we will quit and take a quick look at the mission D briefing. I am pumped. What is actually being said, and then. We will, of course, go on with the next step, the next mission here in the next episode, and not right now, of course. The mercenaries have been all put down like rabbit beasts without any survivors. Field butcher, shivery units are processing the corpses. All the servants are working on identifying the cause of the deviant behavior. Meanwhile, we have been alerted that another similar incident is in progress. This time, the unnatural behavior has affected the crew of a white ship. All right, guys, that right now brings us actually right now to the end of this episode. And you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.